Well, this is Mr. Adams and I'm representing for Jamaican Fish Village. Well, is the hot pepper sauce? Good evening, friends and family. Come once more again this evening. Welcome to Finley's Kitchen once more. This evening, we're gonna. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today, we're gonna make codfish, which is Jamaican call it saltfish, but we're gonna do it in a different way today. With spinach, we have potatoes, pumpkin, or squash if you want, you can use. We have carrot, we have um, chopped onion, and some bell pepper here, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and we have a bit of leek, spring onion, Jamaican say scallion, and some garlic. Over here we have British baby leaf spinach and here we have the couscous right so we're gonna cook today something nice over here inside the pan here we have um some pimento seed yeah because we're flavoring up the pot and what we're gonna do now we have some nice extra virgin olive oil as we love to cook with olive oil so we're gonna put some inside the pan so we're gonna turn on the pot Make sure we put the pot on running. Flame up pot as you can see. Not too much oil. You know. Just a bit of oil. You know, just to we don't want too much oil in our pot, but to cook down the ground veg. We need all of these things. Welcome to Finley Kitchen. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the oil to get hot, you know. And then from there we will work our way through. Make it nice, lovely. You know what I mean? We have the kettle over here. Boil up the kettle so we can do the couscous. And we already have some boil planting over here because what we do, we boil the we kind of halfway cook the cut, you know. And we also just put a planting inside to just add to the dish so when we do presentation the dish presented beautifully you know so here the pot like it's getting ready so what we're gonna do over here now we're gonna put in these stuff let it go on so to start off like this if you're a vegetarian or vegan this is a nice dish you know to cook but Today I'm going to put, um, if you're a vegetarian, vegan, this is a nice dish for you, you know. But today, I'm going to add a bit of um, saltfish or codfish, you may know it as, yeah? inside my pot. Whoa, smell the olive oil. You know, so, we're just making, taking our time, preparing, you know. So, we we'll move on with that rest easier for a bit. And just mix this round. While we're mixing these round inside here. So in here we have the pumpkin or the courgette, carrots and potatoes nicely. You know what I mean? While the kettle is over there. So all we are doing here is just cook this. Because what we're doing is we're cooking everything to for liking, you know? Or you can cook it for instead of light in you cook. So we turn on the pot and leave the metal steam and leave these over here. So we're gonna give it a bit. So if you are a vegetarian, this is a beautiful dish to cook. Nice, lovely. Yeah? So while it's there going on, what we're gonna do now. We're gonna flavor up, so we're gonna add the onion, the bell pepper, you know. The garlic, the leaf, everything inside. Yeah? We're gonna stir it on. See the beauty of that? All we're gonna do now, 
It's just a little touch of water, you don't really want too much. Just to make them steam. Yeah. That's all you really need. You know what I mean? And just leave him, let him steam. All these lovely flavors which is in here. You can eat this like it. It's beautiful. Yeah. What we do? We're gonna cover him and leave him at him steam for a bit. Welcome to Finland's Kitchen. Today this dish is also for vegetarian. This is a vegetarian dish, but I'm gonna add codfish in it because I feel for a bit of cod fish this evening in this lovely dish. So as a vegetarian, you cook this dish the way how you see I'm cooking it today. Eh? And you add your vegetable to it and everything and that's a perfect combination as a vegetarian or vegan but most vegan some vegan eat raw food most some might eat like while it's preparing like this but vegetarian dish this can also be watch out as we come back in this kitchen so as you can look, as a vegetarian, this is the beauty of the dish which you want to see, you know. But as a vegetarian, apart from everything else, do not, if you are a vegetarian, do not add this codfish. So we're going to put the codfish inside. Amen. Yeah. Bit of basil. Some rosemary. I like cooking with rosemary, you know. Because rosemary bring up all that flavor inside. You know what I mean? So just a bit of rosemary. Yeah. And a touch of oregano. Yeah. Because we are cooking it natural because we are dealing with you know. Yeah. Now what we do, we put some tomato inside. Let the pot more beautiful, you know what I mean? Wow! So if you're a vegetarian, this dish is for you. But just remove the, the fish away from this dish. You understand? So you can able to have that nice succulent thing. See that beauty? Then the next step, this is a pre-pack spinach which wash clean everything as it say even though they say so but we don't trust them but this evening we're gonna trust them so far so we're gonna put in some spinach inside whoa you know see that if you're a vegetarian all you have to do forget about the fish because we are cooking for both vegetarian and please look out for the chickpeas chew which is coming up you know yeah. so we use one pocket of this inside if you're a vegetarian please remember yeah and we'll leave it like that because when the heat start to take this then it will shrink and this is what we do and we put this away see we leave and let them steam and that's it all right Thank you for watching and I will show you this beautiful dish after they finish steam up and everything and we spin them up together and you will see all that lovely succulent dish. Thank you Finley's Kitchen. <laughs> so you see, as you guys can see, we finish up the vegetables which is beautiful. Yeah, And bear in mind, remember if you're a vegetarian, please once again remove the codfish okay so over here what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna do the couscous right and how we're gonna do the couscous i'm gonna do it different you know different styles for different folks different strokes right so what i'm gonna do yeah basil little basil Put it in a pan. Because couscous is not really hard to cook, you know what I mean? Um, 
Rosemary. I love rosemary, you know. I have to clear the brain, you know. I'm cooking for health. And if you're a vegetarian, you can do this. And what we have here, oregano. Just a little touch of oregano. So we are seasoning the couscous. That's all. I don't want no salt inside my pot. And what I'm gonna do is I cut up some, some people who like to do, have it freshly put all over. So I cut up these, put inside. Don't worry about that. <coughs> and the next thing is half a lemon. Wow, I need to remove the seed, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'll do it like this. So we catch the seed in the peps inside. Yeah. Just squeeze it in just like this. Yeah. We don't have anything in there. <clears throat> right. And wash. While we're at it, in Finley's kitchen, what we do, we just put a bit of water. Hot water, as you can see. Yeah, bring up the flavor inside and everything. Yeah, some people want to put butter, like I said, I don't want nothing inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do all of this couscous, you know, we're cooking. We are cooking at Finland's. Oh, that's what we are doing, cooking in Finland. Right. Put that one side. And guys, don't forget, yeah? Don't forget, because this evening we are having a lovely evening, you know what I mean? Enjoying ourselves. And don't forget guys, your Finley's hot pepper sauce. Create, manufacture, buy, none other than Mr. Finley. <laughs> don't forget the Finley's hot sauce. Don't believe it, we're not going to put any inside at this moment. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pour hot water until it's covered yeah like that yeah what we're gonna do um for some people they leave it just like that but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a bit of fire over it let it steam yeah and cover with the pot lid yeah and we're going to leave like that for a little while. Let him broughed up and everything, you know. So we're going to leave it like this. And then the next thing that you will see is the presentation. Which will be a fantastic and a beautiful presentation. Vegetarian, fish eaters, name it. This dish, special. You know, so you have to remember Finley is i'm from jamaica but we're bringing a different type of cooking to you and we want to say big shout out go to everyone out there you know i don't care where you're from wherever in the world you are if you're in israel gaza if you're in africa india asia if you are chinese japanese if you are from the caribbean then you know this type of dish Jamaica, big up yourself and happy independence once again. You know, if you are from Europe, Portugal, big up yourself. Spain, big up yourself. Poland, big up yourself. Romania, big up yourself. UK, big up yourself. Finley's Kitchen, like, love, share, subscribe to Finley's Kitchen. And don't forget Finley's Hot Sauce. Next. You're going to see how we do the presentation as we go on. Guys, thank you. I'm here. Thank you for your support. Finley's Kitchen. Right, so you see? Couscous nice, fluffy. So what I'm going to do, I'm mixing it up. Yeah? So all that flavor that we put inside earlier, you know, you can see. So, there you go. There you have it. Yeah. And what we're going to do now, 
we're gonna present the dish because what we're doing now we're showing you the fluffiness yeah that's a fluff that we're looking for for the couscous ready now the next step you're gonna see is the presentation from Finley's kitchen thank you here we go this is your dish finally complete presentation there you go don't forget your Finley's hot sauce so this is our dish which is vegetable with saltfish or codfish this dish can also go for vegetarian it can also go for some vegan not all vegan but please remember to remove the cut okay now thank you very much for watching thank you very much for watching like subscribe to finley's kitchen and you will see many more dish coming this is our dish thank you very much and have a lovely evening now it's time for me to eat thank you god bless well, this is Mr. Adams and I'm representing for Jamaican Fish Village. Well, it's the hot pepper sauce. So when you see them sauce, yeah, it well saucy. You can use it for all your favorite dishes. And it's back in UK. And it's straight out of St. Elizabeth, Jamaica.